Okay, continuing on the yellow slice, we'll be looking at percentiles. And so they tell us a story here that on each trial of an experiment, a subject is presented with a constant soft noise, which is interrupted at some unpredictable time by a noticeably louder sound. And then it goes on and tells us uh, what these times are. We don't really care so much about what the numbers stand for. In the uh, case of a percentile, what we're interested in here is the percentage of the way through the sorted list. So if they're asking us for the 20th percentile, we want to know the number, one of these numbers, which is 20, 20th uh, percentile or 20 percent of the way through the sorted list. So first thing we must do is get the numbers and sort them. So let's get those numbers into our calculator and sort them. And since they're sorted now, we want to find our number, which is 20% or one-fifth of the way through this list. Now, the way to do that is with a formula. So let's take a look over here at our formula. And notice we have L equals P over 100 times N. L stands for the locator or the number through the sorted list. P is the percentile, N is the sample size. So in our case here, we see that we want the 20th percentile, and they're furthermore telling us that there are 16 numbers on the list. Our sample size is 16. So let's go over here and uh, do that calculation. So we're going to have our locator value is going to be P, that's 20 over 100 times 16, which is the number on our sorted list. So we go over here, notice that there are 16 trials altogether, 16 numbers in the sorted list. And so what we want to do then is to carry that out. So in order to do that, we'll lose these values for just a second, do the calculation, 20. We'll divide that by 100. And then we'll multiply that times n, which is 16. And that turns out to be 3.2. Now notice that this is a decimal. So when you do the calculation and you get a decimal, there are the two possibilities. You either get a decimal here or you get a whole number. In the event of a decimal, what you're going to do is to round up to the next whole number. No matter how small this is, you will round this up to 4. That becomes your locator. And that tells us that we want to go to the fourth number then in the sorted list. So what we want to do then is go back over here to our list, get our numbers, bring them in, and sort them as we did before. And then uh, find the fourth number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 212. 212 is our fourth number on the list. And so the next problem that we have here is the 75th percentile. So we basically go over here and set the problem up the same way. So what we want to do here then is calculate again L equals P over 100 times N. So that's going to be 75 over 100 times 16, which is going to give us 12. Now 12 is the locator, but this time it is a whole number. And so we have to do something that's quite a bit different. We go ahead and look up the 12th one. But we also look up the 13th one. So, the 12th and 13th, back on our sorted list, so back to your list, once again, we have those values. Let's count to the 12th and 13th and find what those values are. Okay, we see here that our 12th number on the list is 257, and our 13th is 261. So what we will do here is to take those two values, 257, 261, add them together, which is going to give us 518. Then we divide that by 2 and get 259. So the 259 is going to be our 75th percentile, or the number that is 75% of the way through the sorted list. 259 should make Alex happy.